In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create a template in Word that automatically incorporates the current date and time. Let's look at how to do this in Word for PC or Windows first, and then we'll look at the steps for Apple or Mac. Templates are useful in any situation where you find yourself reproducing the same text, or text that is mostly the same, over and over again. Even though you could manually type the date and time in any Word document, using a template will promote efficiency and prevent errors. This is just a simple example, and I'll discuss further specific use cases for templates following the demo. Creating a template. Start with an ordinary Word document and decide where you would like to position the date and time. It's also possible to include only the date or only the time if you prefer. After you save the template, upon opening the file, Word will automatically incorporate the current date and time or whichever option you've selected. Use the chapter marker now to skip ahead if you're using a Mac. If you're using Word on a PC or Windows machine, start from a new blank document. Place the insertion point where you would like the date and time to appear. I'll click on a line right to start with. From the ribbon at the top of the screen, click on Insert, and in the text group, select Insert Date and Time. Choose the format that you would like to include, and ensure Update Automatically is checked. Click OK. I'll press Enter once to move to the next line, and I'll change the alignment to left because that's where I'll want to start typing each time I open this document. At the top, click on File. Along the left, click on Save As and select the location. I'll choose to save it on the desktop. Type your file name. Change the file format to Word Template, which uses the file extension DOTX. From here, your installation of Word might automatically redirect you to the Custom Office Templates folder, but because I want to save to my desktop, I have to choose this location again. Click Save. If you're using Word on a Mac, start from a new blank document. Place the insertion point where you would like the date and time to appear. I'll click on Align Right to start with. From the menu bar at the top of the screen, click on Insert and choose Date and Time. Choose the format that you'd like to include and ensure Update Automatically is checked. Click OK. I'll press Enter once to move to the next line and I'll change the alignment to left because that's where I'll want to start typing each time I open this document. From the menu bar, click on File and choose Save As. I skipped the built-in Save As Template command because if you use this option, the template will be saved in Word's default location for templates, and I always prefer to choose a specific location for the file. Type your file name. Choose a location where you would like to save the template. I'll choose to save it on the desktop. Change the file format to period .dotx. Click on Save. Using your template. Using your template is easy. Notice that the icon for a Word template is different from the icon for a Word document. Instead of resembling a single sheet of paper, it looks more like a notepad from which you can imagine taking a fresh, but not entirely blank, page for each use. The procedure for using a template is the same on both PC and Mac, so here I'll only demonstrate the PC version. Double-click on your template file. The file opens in Word as a fresh document. Notice that its name differs from the name of your template file because the specific instance of your document has not been saved yet. Work with this file as normal. Rename and save as a period .docx file. Closing. Templates provide a custom-designed head start for your Word documents. In addition to the date and time, you can include anything that you would like to appear within your document each time you access the template. For example, students might choose to include placeholders for their course names, readings, and homework. People who take meeting minutes might save time by formatting elements related to the meeting's attendees and action items. Templates are especially useful for documents like form letters, in which the standardized text is sent to different people at different times. Even though many people rely on erasing the content of old files and typing new details, you should avoid this practice to eliminate the risk of carelessly breaching confidentiality in your workplace or exposing sensitive metadata. 
If this video helped you, please like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel.